Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Valheim. And we are going to get ready to fight the big bad deer today. Uh, first things first, though, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this workbench so I can make some better stuff. So I think I have everything to upgrade it, maybe. Uh, yes, I do. We're going to run out of space here real quick, by the way. How do we rotate here? Uh, mouse wheel. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty good right there. All right, there we go. We got leather. By the way, I made a mistake making this cloth armor, or rag armor. I never should have made it at all. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm probably just going to scrap it all. It's pretty It's pretty shite. All right, so we're going to go ahead and craft. Now, I don't have any of this stuff on me, and you can see this is 24 of 6, and this is in yellow. That's signifying that that deer hide is in my chest. So cool. All right, leather tunic. Leather pants. I might upgrade this too. I'm not really sure how crazy I want to go to fight the deer boss. Uh, what I was originally going to do while fighting the deer boss was I was going to use bow and arrows. But I looked up some strats, and apparently you can fight him uh, using the melee. Uh, the, the apparently the wooden shield. This wooden shield should block his attacks. That's what I was. That's what I read. So who knows if that's true or not? Not me. But <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. And what I'm gonna do is when I go to fight him, I'm gonna drop all my arrows and bow in here along with some makeshift armor and if i get killed like if that whole shield thing doesn't work out the way i want it to rag all right hold on let's um let's do this if that if that whole shield thing doesn't work out the way i want it to i'll have a backup plan where i'll go with arrows all right so leather and leather cool we just need to make the head i didn't see the head on here that's because we don't have what we need for it oh boy you need a lot more deer hide for that okay I went out to get some deer hide, and I found a troll. And I think I'm going to kill him, because I think I could get some troll hide armor before I fight the deer boss. Now, do I need troll hide armor to fight the deer boss? Eh, probably not, but the troll hide, ar troll hide armor will do me a lot of good, you know, moving forward. So, what I'm going to do in order to kill that guy is I'm going to want to make fire arrows. So, let's go ahead and do that now. And I'll just make 80. That should be plenty to kill him. And then I'm going to repair everything. Oh, we only have 60? Oh, no. We don't only have 60. I'm going to get some more wood and get 80. <laughs> I feel comfortable at 80, not so much on 60. So, yeah. It's going to be tough. I'm going to have to kite him. It's going to be annoying. I could possibly die, and it's not going to be easy. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's going to be pretty damn challenging, I think, if memory serves me correct. But we'll see. Um, I think it's worth it, though, because I think with one drop, I could get one piece of troll hide, which is just ridiculously strong. Like, especially before fighting the deer boss. And I'm assuming I can do it because I can upgrade my... I can upgrade this workbench one more spot. So, we're going to go for it while we still have daylight. I'm 90% I'm sure I can I can craft it with an upgraded workbench. Alright, now let's drop some stiff... Uh, we only need two deer heads and I've got like 50. Uh, we're going to put this over here. Put that over there. And I really don't want to lose the daylight. This could take a while. Um, that's only... Two o'clock, but that's still kind of not really early, so let's go for it. Uh, rested bonus is 11, 11 minutes. If I don't kill him in 11 minutes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have more problems than, you know. <laughs> I also want to make that that deer rug because that would really help with the amount of time. Now, this is going to be tough, man. I'm telling you right now, like, this is going to be tough. I think I can do it, though. If he wasn't there, I would just I would just cheese the guy that's, like, sitting in the, in the base because, um... You know, in that little hut, there'll be, like, a troll, right? And the cool thing is you could just, like, hit him and then leave and then go back and hit him and leave and all that stuff. Okay. There he goes. He's burning. I gotta remember to shoot high, but not too high. Oh, God. Oh, look at his hit points already. Wow, okay. Okay. Got him there. Watch our stamina. Okay, get some distance. Watch our stamina. Yeah, the fire arrows are just ridiculous at this. I could wait longer and let the fire... Oh. I could wait longer and let the fire arrows do more damage, but... I don't mind. I'd rather kill them quicker. Maybe I will go and kill the one inside, too. We'll see. We'll see. The troll hide armor is really good. If you know, I'm considering just doing troll troll hide armor and skipping and skipping uh, bronze or brass or whatever it is. So 
We'll see about that. Eat, 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 and you're gonna burn. Okay, watch your stamina. The reason he came in with so few hit points is because I stealth attacked him. That's what it was. Does like, what, three times the damage? Alright, we gotta watch the stamina now. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna shoot. I'm just gonna run away. Ah, I'll shoot now. See, the cool thing is we get, when he gets that close, you don't have to hold the bow as much. So you get to you get the shot off without uh, using as much stamina as you would otherwise. Okay, freaking boar. Uh, man, that third that third swing almost almost did me in. Oh, almost did me in. Damn it! Stop walking side to side, you jerk. Okay, stamina, stamina. Okay, hit you in the wrist. See, I like running like this because then I can see him. If you could bait him into an attack, that would be fine by me. There we go. Oh, shot him right in the junk. Alright, enough of this. Alright, let's go this way. We got a good amount of stamina. Okay, this is a lot easier than I thought. I built it up in my mind a lot worse than it was going to be, of course. I always do that. But that's okay. I'd rather be overprepared mentally than underprepared. Six hit points. Five hit points. No hit points. Beautiful. Okay, let's see how much we get. Come on, break into pieces. There you go. There we go. How much do we get? Five? Okay. Okay. All right, I thought we would have got more than that, but I don't even think that's enough to make one piece, though. Let's go home and check it out. I'm gonna have to figure. I'm gonna have to see what I need to upgrade my um my workbench as well. So, so I think I've killed all the boars in the game because <laughs> I'm not finding any. I just killed one. I need one more, just one more freaking boar. Um, I did come across this house right here that has loot in it. Now normally I would just loot it off camera because it's like whatever, but with the like legendary loot mod I have or epic loot or whatever it is, yeah, I got to do it on camera. But nothing there, but. It could have been. It could have been a. It could have been an epic hammer, or a, 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 a legendary torch, or something. <laughs> All right, let's find this last boar. Man, there's so many interesting places to build on this island. I'm looking at this area right here. Woof. Um, not gonna build here, but it's a pretty good looking area. Uh, I did get my last boar, and more importantly, that looks like the the black forest to me. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna grab this chest right here. And nothing great. I mean, you know, this stuff is pretty good, but it's not like epic loot. That's that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, yeah. So let's get back home. Where is my home? I'm not sure about this, like, vegetation picking mod. I might get rid of it. It's really starting to clutter up my screen. And plus, think about it. I can plant all this stuff now. So, and you know what? I'm probably definitely going to get rid of it. Because it is really cluttering up my screen and, um, you know. Although, I would really like it for the ores. Like, when I find copper and stuff. So, eh, I'll think about it. Okay, we are back home, and let's do an upgrade for the workbench. And we'll put this bad boy right here. No? We'll put it like that. No? Okay. Um, put him on the outside, right? Will that be close enough? Put it underneath? I'll put it right there for now. Let's see if that worked. <laughs> and that did work. Okay. Cool. All right, so how much do we need to troll? Oh, we need five. Okay, great. Now, here's the question. Do we want to go in and kill the troll on the inside? You know, I think we do. I think we do. I'm going to sleep through the night uh, here. Well, I mean, I could go in during the night. It really doesn't matter. Um, but the thing is, uh, I'm going to go in the troll hut, and I'm going to hit him, and then I'm going to leave. And then I'm going to go in, I'm going to hit him, I'm going to leave. And I'm going to kill him like that, because I can. All right, I went ahead and built a little bit during the night, slept the rest of the night away. Um, I'm kind of messing around with some ideas for angled building. Uh, that's not really what this episode's about, but that's kind of what I did during the night, so I figured I'd show you guys. Uh, also, um, this is not going to be my main base. There's a spot up there. There's a big, giant hill that I think would make a really cool spot for a base. I'm going to kind of maybe try and work on the hill without altering the terrain too much. That might be pretty interesting. I might, I might try that, but I am going to make, uh, you know... 
a house down here as well, so I can, you know, have a place of base of operations while I'm building up there. This will probably come out to about here. This will be the entrance way over here, I guess. Or maybe I'll do the entrance way on the other side. I haven't really decided yet. But, um, yeah, I'm going to build something here. All right, so I took that five troll hide, and I went ahead and made myself some troll leather pants. And I think I'm going to go in and kill the troll. And I'm going to get more troll armor. Now, before we go in and kill the troll, let's see, let's see what we, um, what we get for it. First of all, we don't have a helmet yet. We can make one, but let's look at the troll helmet. Maybe we should make that instead. So I'm, I'm not going to be making three pieces of troll stuff. I'm going to make two pieces. All right. So let's look at the, oh, so I only have tunic and pants. Oh, I don't see a troll. Uh, I don't see a troll helmet piece. I know there is one. I guess I, oh, maybe, you know, I need to pick up bones to get it, don't I? All right. We'll make the troll helmet if we can. If not, we will make the troll tunic and that takes five as well. Now, the helmet might take more than five troll hide. I'm only killing one more troll. I'm not going to go troll hunting for this. I, I don't think I need a full set of troll armor to kill the first boss. Um, you know, so I, I don't think that's necessary. But I do already have a leather tunic. So if I have a leather tunic and no helmet, it just makes sense to make the troll helmet instead of the tunic if that's the only thing you're going to make. The thing is, the, 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 the helmet might take more... Uh, okay, just making sure my rest of bonus is good. The troll helmet might take more troll uh skin troll uh, yeah skin what do they call it is it it's not called skin <laughs> troll leather whatever it's called anyway um ooh, i didn't get that did i there we go the helmet might take more than i get from killing one troll so if that's the case then i'll have to make decisions well no i won't i'll just make the i'll just make the tunic all right there we go and there it is the troll hide helmet all right cool Okay, so this is what we do, guys. We walk in here. We shoot him once or twice. Oh, you know what? There's a chance there could be no troll in here. No, he's here. Shoot him a couple times. And before he hits us, we get out. And we rinse and repeat until he's dead. Now, when you when you leave, you got to give him, give him like 10, 15, 30 seconds. Oh, hold on. Give him like 30 seconds to get back, you know, into his spot. Because if you go back right away, he'll just, he'll be there, you know? And then you might get hit. And I don't know. I don't think I'll get one-shotted. But I don't know. I have not gotten hit by a troll in this part of the game in a long time. Okay, there he is. We'll just back out. I don't know if the fire DOT works while... while you know, I'm in there. I don't know if he heals either. They didn't use the heal. He seemed to have a good amount of hit points though. So I'll have to see if he's healing or not. I don't think he is, but I don't know for sure. Let's go back. Okay, get out. Pretty sure I hit him. <laughs> is there an easy way to get your archery skill up in this game? That's one thing I would really like to know. I might even... Uh, bows. I might even Google it. I'm, I'm really curious on Easy way to get your bow skill up. Ooh, that last shot was ill-advised. <laughs> this is my jersey coming out in me. Um, I'm completely impatient. Just completely impatient. By the way, you can make this area right here. You can make a little... Uh, uh, well, I don't, have any, I don't have any wood with me. But if I had wood with me, you can make a little outpost here. You put down a workbench... You make a bed and a fire. It's real easy. And this is considered like under a roof. So you'd be good to go with that. Okay. There we go. I have a feeling I'm getting a sneak attack every time I come in though. But I don't know for sure. Alright. Well, there you go guys. Rinse and repeat. Let's get this fool killed. I've had to go back into my base a couple of times, you know, for little things here and there. Uh, and it, you know what I noticed? <laughs> you know, the honey is a lot better than I thought. Like, a lot better. By the way, I got this down so I could repair. Yeah, the honey's a lot better than I thought, man. Not only does it give more regeneration. I thought it was, like, less hit points and less stamina and more regeneration. And that was the um, trade-off than the other food I have. No, it's got more than any of them on every account. The only thing it doesn't do better is it doesn't last as long. And you are dead. 
He actually got a shot off on me. Um, I didn't wait long enough one time when I was coming in. He, he almost one shot at me. If I didn't have the armor I did and the food... Oh, look at that. Yeah, I've been seeing that. I'm not sure what that is. Troll leather helmet? What? Dude! <laughs> oh my god! That is freaking dope! I got a magic troll leather helmet! Now here's the question. I don't think that's any different than a regular troll hel troll leather helmet. What what like what makes it magical? What what's the magic do? Is it more durability? No, it's the same thing. It just says magic. Troll skin hard makes you yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really sure what the magic does for it, but it says it's magic, so I'm gonna assume that does something. All right, there's also loot in these things. Oh no! All right, well, I won't get. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. I won't get too uh, put off by the fact that there's no loot in here because I got that drop. Oh, ruby. Cool. Let's look around carefully. Another ruby. Amber pearl. By the way, the trader is not that far away from my starting area. So, yeah. All right. If I'm missing anything, let me know. I'll come back and check it out. All right, cool. Another troll down. And now I can make... God, I'm going to have a full set of troll armor before I, before I fight that first boss. That is freaking dope. That reminds me of the Legend of Zelda. For anyone, for any of you, for any of you who played the Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda on the NES, 1987. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when I play that game, um, I still play it every like couple years just for fun. It's one of my favorite games. When I play that game these days, what I do is, oh my god, look at this. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Anyway, when I play The Legend of Zelda now, what I do is, before I go in the first dungeon, I get pimped out. I get a shield, I have five heart containers, the white sword, the blue the blue ring. I do I do so much before the first, before I go into the first um, dungeon. I don't start getting challenged until like the fourth dungeon. The first three are just breezing through. It makes it so much easier. That's what this reminds me of. That's what this reminds me of. Um, I'm not saying this is going to be an easy fight. I might still die, I don't know. But, man, I, like, do you guys remember my first series on this? Do you remember what I had when I fought him the first time? Oh, my God. All right, guys, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Put that right there. Number six. Number six. Oh, look at this guy. And we're going to eat that. And we should be as good to go as we could possibly be to melee. All right, here we go. I have not timed a melee, uh, like a, a parry in a long time. Okay, pretty sure I did that perfect, but it didn't, like, do anything for me. Or at least not much. Okay, watch your stamina. Ah, oh, I should have blocked that one. Okay, block that. I don't have to parry to get the block, by the way. Okay, we're gonna back off and get some stamina back. Alrighty. There we go. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay here. He's even when he does hit me, he's not doing anything. Like I should not be fighting with troll armor. <laughs> I mean seriously. Honestly, I don't have to block. I will though. Let's get me skills at least. This be a hard guy to Oh I I freaking was that a um Is that a parry? Alright, tough guy. Damn it. Block missed that one totally. Alright, yeah, this is way uh, this is the way to start the game, guys. This is the way to start the game. Go get yourself some troll hide. I mean, you don't even probably need troll hide for this. The food I have is ridiculous too. Awesome. Much better than last time. Much better than the first time, right? And you're done. GG! No re. Two minutes. Two minutes down. Come on, blow up. I want my pickaxe. Did we get something special? We got a flint axe. Okay. Alright, so anytime you see that, like, laser, blue laser going to the sky, it means you got a... There we go. Alright, so a magic flint axe. Let's take a look at the... Can we compare? I thought there's a way to compare, but I'm not sure. But... Alright, so this is, um... Flint Axe, Magic Flint Axe. 
Um, blunt. It's got blunt on it. This has no blunt on it. See that right there? The magic one. It's got blunt. Slash. Uh, so slash is 7 to 13. 7 to 13. Exactly the same. Uh, the stats below uh, look all the same. Yep. Oh, world. Oh, world save. Okay. I thought that said wave. I thought I was getting a horde attack. Um, <laughs> all right. So it looks like we got a blunt. We got blunt on that. Um, on that axe. If you guys see any difference between this troll hide stuff, let me know because I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same as it would have been whether it was magic or not. But this thing has some extra blunt on it. So, you know, it's only magic because it's not supposed to be OP. But the fact that it's got a little extra blunt is pretty cool. All right, guys, we were extremely ready for that. So let's go home and let's see if we can make this pickaxe. Why not? Let's do it. I thought that was going to be a long fight. I thought that would be most of the rest of the video. But apparently not. Let's grab some uh, honey out of these. By the way, I saw an enemy coming through here. One of those gray dwarfs. And they were they had bees all over them. So the bees were attacking them. Made me very happy. Um, I do want to build here, but I got to get rid of the stone, right? So let's go ahead and make ourselves a trusty antler pickaxe. And there we go. Now we can get rid of the stone. Uh, let's put it right there. All right, so let's go get rid of some of this. Um, you know what? Before we get rid of the stone, let's go uh, put the head on the wall. The head on the wall. The head on those, uh, what are they called? Sacrificial spires or something? Oh, let's get rid of this guy. There you go. Yeah, I, I got it, buddy. I got it. So now what we need to do is we need to come over to Sacrificial Spires, put the head on there, and we can get the... I don't know what you call it, like the power, the ability. I don't, I don't know. What, I don't know what you would call it as far as what it is. I'm gonna call it power. You get the power of the dear god, and uh, that will allow you to run with using. Is it like a 60% less sprint or something, and it comes back faster? I forget exactly what it does, but I know it's dope. So let's come on over here and put it on the wall. Every boss you kill in this, for those of you who haven't played this game or don't know anything about it, every boss you kill in the game, you put on one of these hooks. You put their head on the hook, right? And then once you've done that. You can get their power. There we go. Uh, so you just come up. E to attach. And yeah, there you go. Jump stamina usage, negative 60%. Run stamina usage, negative 60%. This is going to be the best ability until we kill Bone Mass. There we go. And now all we have to do is hit F to use it. And we're good to go. Yep, I got it. I got the power. I have the power. So now we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to clear out some stone. And we're going to do a bit of building to end off a um, very productive, well-rounded episode. I'm really happy with, the, with the, what's happened here. What has transpired here. Um, you know, I showed you guys how to just de decimate that guy. Now, if you don't have a troll, like a troll cave in an, in an area that you could really get to easily, it might be a little bit tougher for you. Um, I, I tend to find troll caves are pretty much everywhere. You could probably find one, but you might have to go into the black woods to do it. That might not be the best idea, maybe. If you're not going to do the troll head armor, then just do everything I did and upgrade the leather armor. Um, I wouldn't... I don't know if I would upgrade it all the way, though. But maybe upgrade it some. And uh, just use the shield like I did. I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be alright. You'll be alright. We got rested experience. There we go. One hit with the pickaxe and we got a thing. By the way, um, if anyone's familiar with the mods I'm using, uh, can you tell me what, like, what having levels does for me? Because I have personal levels, and I don't remember that in the base game. It, it doesn't mean it wasn't in the base game. I just don't remember it. I don't remember, like, an overall level. I just remember the skill levels. So I don't know what that means. Okay, so, um, yeah. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get some of this. This is going to really um, over-encumber us. What do we have that's so heavy? Oh, a lot of stone. All right, let's go ahead and throw some stone in here. Oh, by the way, that right there is the birch cone. I believe that's not in vanilla, right? I can plant birch trees now. So that's going to be freaking cool. And I will do that. I will do that. The first thing I'm going to make once I start getting what I need for it. Honestly, I don't remember what I need for it. If I had to guess for the cultivator, which is what I need to plant stuff. Damn it, I don't want to do that. If I had to guess what I needed for the cultivator, I would guess it would be... It would be brass. Or bronze. I don't remember which one it is. Brass, bronze, whatever. You know the thing you make, you take the tin and the copper and you put it together. You know what I'm talking about. Nope. Hold on. Get out of here, chump. I said get out of here. There you go. There you go. 
I also need to make um an axe because once I make um a bronze or brass, it's bronze. I'm pretty sure it's bronze. Once I make a bronze axe, I can cut down. I can cut those logs down, and then I can make a, an upgraded bow. Oh, that's one thing. I, yeah, well, I was like, I was thinking, wait, why didn't I upgrade my bow before the fight? Because you didn't use your bow, Cage. I read those. Th I read those. I read about those fights on the first boss on the internet, and people were like, "Yay, just sword and sword and shield, tank and spank it." I was like, "Really? That doesn't sound right." And the first, the first one that said it, I ignored it. I was like, "Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about." And then the second one I read, I was like, "Okay, if two people say it, then it's probably the case." All right, guys, I'm gonna continue clearing this area and, um, you know getting an idea of what I want to do with the base. Next episode, I, it could be a building episode, or next episode could be a let's, you know, get into the Bronze Age episode. Uh, I will not I will not make my decision until I record the video. But the good thing is, I'm pretty hyped, so I will be recording this, you know, tomorrow. So that's awesome. So I won't have to wait long to make my decision. All right, guys, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.